Morning folks, good morning in early November on the Susquehanna to uh, catch these beautiful fish on uh, on jerk baits. So I'll go ahead and get, get that guy back in there. We got a little bit of muddy water coming down. We had really, a really strong uh, cold front come through last night and uh, you know, it laid down an inch, inch and a half in some areas in, uh, in a thunderstorm and, and really strong winds uh, and we got some winds coming in on the back end of this but before it gets too bad I want to do an overview of the the boat that I've been working on here for a little while this is the Sea Eagle fish skiff and uh, I've got it powered there I finally got the right setup that's the Torquedo Cruise 2.0 and uh, I've got the throttle set up right here next to me and on the flip side, I got the stick steer. So that moves that back and forth and uh, it's, it's proved to be pretty powerful. I'm, uh, I'm getting it up, you know, up close to seven and a half mile an hour. Uh, I used the high speed prop. I tried that today. I got the regular weedless prop that comes standard with that, that model. Uh, but overall, this boat, you know, is, it's certainly bigger than the kayaks that I'm used to being in, uh, but it's, it, you know, it, it allows me to go shallower than a lot of kayaks because it is inflatable. It has a really nice stealth factor uh, because when you bump into stuff, just like the cataract I've had before, you're not really banging into stuff really hard. So, go shallow, really stealthy, and it's lightweight enough. I'm going to show you where I put in. There's my truck. So no no trailer to use this boat. I put it in the back of that. Now it is an eight foot bed. <clears throat> um, so that that certainly helps. <clears throat> Let me show you real quick how how this sucker is powered. I'm gonna get up off my seat. I'm gonna show you the seat first. I put a nice swivel seat on there, a Millennium Marine with a stainless steel swivel. So I've got full 360 access to my gear my depth finder uh, I installed some some nice trays here I uh, just put that right into this battery box so here's the deal with that we got the stick steer on there right but inside what we've got we got these latches to keep it secure we got the power 26104 lithium battery so that gives me a lot of range uh, I got the on off switch there I got the charger there it's all hooked up and it's it's tucked away tucked away real nice and uh, you know I'm enjoying the rig so far let me show you a couple other things um, <clears throat> looks like I got some tweaking to do there I got my yak attack uh, transducer arm but unfortunately it's on the same side as my anchor it looks like it's catching on that so I gotta find a way to clean that up the anchor comes up real nice with the, the anchor wizard that I have set up you know really at arm's length right here from from my seat I'm gonna sit back down there and come back to the seated position I will show you that I did do a uh, I did get the Sea Eagle oars, so from this seated position, I can certainly, you know, put those oars out if I really want to sneak up on a spot really nice and slow. Uh, back here I have the Boondocks landing gear. I have the, the, uh, the wheels are actually up in the pickup truck, but, you know, they just swing down or I can leave them up there. Um, it's just a really nice way to move around what is... For, for a 16 foot boat that you can take two people, um, you know, it's fairly lightweight. Now, 
that being said I'm a big dude and I can move you know this this boat with the motor with the 53 pound lithium battery with the depth finder I have a you know lithium battery up front running the uh, Humminbird Helix 10 you know it's it is a lot here so I am using the boondocks landing gear to get a little bit higher angle so it goes back into the back of the pickup truck real nice so that's it so far um, <clears throat> really enjoyed it enjoyed uh, setting up the Sea Eagle fish gif uh, check them out seagull.com and they have actually have a really nice combo with the Torquedo travel motor um, which is you know it's a thousand watt motor whereas this is 2000 you know it's also a nice option so check them out I do run the motor in the uh, not in the locks position so it can kick up if it if it hits stuff and really to help with that I got Trey Leach with Innovative Sportsman to do the same rock guard grass cutter that he has made for the Torquedo Ultralight and travel he's also done here with the, the cruise motor so that protects this this prop and uh, also if I come across any vegetation it just chunk, chops it right off the other thing I have back here is the the Visipole Pro Carbon by Yak Attack. I'm actually going to turn that off because, uh, you know, sun's up now. But yeah, you got a lot of space here to, to spread your gear out and, um, you know, organize your, your stuff. I'm using the Yak Attack uh, Bullwinkle there for the rods. Uh, just propping them there. I got two of the Omega Pro rod holders that when I get out on the uh, on the bay, I want to troll for striper. They lock in right there, and I can troll on both sides, which is nice. Uh, occasionally, put one in the back there if I have somebody, uh, if I have a guest on board, and they want to troll. I can put a seat back here as well. Now, Sea Eagle sells them with you know kits with two seats uh, that are a little bit lower than this I wanted to raise up and also wanted a place to store that battery so that's why I set up this stick steer uh, battery box with the anchor wizard throttle everything I need right there so the range on this is totally dependent on on how hard you're pushing the, the throttle I'm backing off on the throttle a little bit coming up on this rapid I'm gonna make a turn and we'll, we'll get over into some flat water, although there isn't much today. It's, it's pretty high. Uh, but let's take a look at the throttle here in a moment, and I'm going to show you what what sorts of, you know, speed you can get. I already know on flat water we're right about 7.5 mile an hour. Um, but let's take a look at the throttle. Right now I'm using over 700 watts of power that's got me going 6.3 miles per hour and at that throttle setting uh, I can expect about 23 and a half miles of range so and that is with 90 percent of the battery remaining so percentage of the battery remaining range at that current throttle setting speed and then watt draw so I'm going to go ahead and crank this up and give you a a little bit more speed and you can see that that um, remaining range is going to go down but if I want it back if I don't want to use all 2,000 all this goes a little bit higher than 2,000 watts uh, then I back it off and that gives me an idea of you know hey if you if you cruise along at you know under 200 watts you got You, you got almost 80 miles of range, even with, you know, 89% of the battery remaining. So the harder you push it, the quicker you use it. Uh, but there is a nice cruising speed. And I would say you go six, six and a half mile an hour. And you got a lot of range with this cruise 2.0 and uh, power 26104 battery set up by Torquedo in the Seagull fish skiff. Nice setup. Nice lightweight boat. Good, good, uh, good combination.
There's a nice one. Got it on a jerk bait up in the uh, the white water up there underneath the foam. One nice thing about the fish skiff is you got two rulers. There's one on this side, one here. Let's take a look and see how big big this one got. Looks like we're uh, right around the 19 inch mark. Nice fish. Go ahead and get her back in. See you, fishy. <laughs> 